Welcome to Tips from the Top with me, Joe Parry. Today I've come to Solway Community Technology College in Cumbria. This is one of the top performing secondary schools in the county. In this video, former head teacher and now supply teacher at the school, Susie Shepherd, shares her top tips for effective team meetings. We had meetings that were fit for purpose, so right. that um, we don't have meetings just because they're calendared. We have meetings when we need to have meetings and we have the right people there for the right reasons. But we might also have a cluster meeting where we put different departments together who can learn from best practice from each other. So they're really about trying to suit the, the material and the meeting together with the audience. So they feel it's yeah. a worthwhile use yeah. of their time. Yeah. If the meeting has purpose, staff are willing to go. We don't have many meetings. We have one meeting for staff each week, plus a senior team meeting. That's a general pattern. Right. And we'll tailor those, if we can, to when we have events on in the evening. So staff are staying and having a meeting and then perhaps going into a parents' evening. How do you pull out that member of staff who maybe is a little bit reticent to make, you know, make a contribution, but you know, because you know them mm -hmm. well, has, has got some great things to add? We've done a lot of work working with small groups within the meetings, so the act, it's quite activity-based. So it's not simply a discussion and then calling on those people to actually report on the group or perhaps have their ideas reported through a group person makes a difference. And then eventually they get the confidence to report. And actually it's many of the techniques that you'd use in classrooms. Exactly. It's going around listening and actually saying, oh, and so-and-so had a really good idea. What was it you said? Yes. And then they're empowered to actually speak. How do you ensure that what's happened in that meeting is taken forward and, and made bigger and better? Most of our meetings will have outcomes uh, and we agree those outcomes at the end of them and people will be asked to report on the progress of those. If it's a senior team initiative, they'll now be asked to report on that in a month's time, say. Right. But that's also agreed in a senior team calendar that we have outlined for the year. And then people feel, don't they, that it's worthwhile Absolutely. and they can see some outcome yeah. Of, yeah. of the work yeah. that they've put in. And if it hasn't worked, we're also brave enough to say that wasn't very successful, let's not do that again. We'll try it on a small scale and if it's worked, we'll roll it out on a big scale. Susie, that's been really useful. Thank you so much. A pleasure. Thank okay. you. If you're going to be somebody who can chair a great meeting, my tips, I think, are as follows. Firstly, you need to really decide what the point of the meeting is. And I find it always useful to ask myself the question, at the end of this meeting, I would like the group to. And by answering that, I've got a real focus for the meeting. It also stops you having too many things on an agenda. Then, use my time wisely. Use everybody else's time wisely. This is a precious commodity. So, have an agenda, have timed portions of the agenda and stick to it. At the end of an agenda item, I always find it useful to summarise. This saves you time later because it will iron out any things that people have misunderstood in the conversations. We can talk those through and make sure everybody is of one voice. And then you've got that point, it's contentious, it's going on a little bit. You've got some choices here. You can hurry it along. Alternatively, you could shelve it and put it onto the next agenda saying that we need to give this more time. Or possibly consider putting together a subcommittee of people who could look at it in more detail and bring it back to your next meeting. And finally, I think it's really important that you're very professional in what you produce after the meeting. People will know the meeting was important if you give them something to work to. I like to put out action points. This is just a brief description of what was decided, initials of who's responsible and a time frame for it. Then everybody knows what their roles and responsibilities are and they know what they've got to achieve maybe by the next meeting. And hopefully you'll be seen as somebody who's great at chairing meetings. <laughs>